Right, we're on Saturday morning, uh, day two of the rally. Uh, nice and early, fresh start. So the cars are about to come out of park from AA in about an hour's time. Uh, but yeah, we're lying second in the 1600. Uh, we're about 18 seconds off uh, Chad, and uh, we're just going to see how today goes. Not push too hard. Uh, we've got the championship to think about. But uh, if there's time to be had, we'll certainly uh, have a go and uh, see where we finish up for the day. Uh, that was alright yesterday. We, on the gravel stages, we, our times were pretty good. Um, we were fighting second, third. And then, uh, unfortunately, on the fast stages at night, we hit the curb and got a puncture. So we lost a bit of time, but we're about a minute down from the guys now. So we'll see what happens today. Uh, we're about fourth over it. Welcome to day two of the Volkswagen Rally. We have eight stages today, uh, some repeated from yesterday. We at the Super Special, which is going to be very, very exciting. The top places for the overall positions are largely settled, but the fat lady has not sunk in. It's quite puncture, it could be done. Otherwise, the gaps are fairly consistent. The fight of the day, however, is going to be at Super 1600, where Chad von Bearden is leading. Um, but Guy Bottrell, who had problems yesterday, is catching him hand over fist. So that is going to be the fight of the day. The attrition yesterday was not as bad as expected. I think we had only three top competitors falling out. So we still have a full field of cars and we'll be out there bringing you the action as the day unfolds. stages this morning this is a mid-morning break and a, uh, a quick summary of what's happened we've lost four or five cars this morning um, there were three R2s including Matthew Vasey Lyle who rolled his fragrant tools Toyota Etios twice I think it was on the second stage this morning we were coming through one of the corners it was quite rutted and uh, as we put a bit of weight on the wheel the rim snapped and uh, just flicked the car over and we rolled two or three times I think uh, we were right we were both fine uh, the car's a bit damaged, but we'll drive it ready for the next rally. We've also lost one of the, uh, the rear-wheel drive Datsun, that lovely red Datsun has gone, and we've just heard that uh, Volro Dipinar in the Super 2000 Challenge Toyota Aurus has also retired. That means there are no S2000 Challenge cars running. At the front of the Red Volkswagen Rally, we've still got Mark Crenier ahead of Leroy Polter. We think Janil de Villiers is third, um, who's taken Hans Weiss in the Volkswagen, so not a good rally for Volkswagen. Our hosts, and yeah, sorry guys, but better luck in the next rally. In 1600, Chad van Buren is still leading, Guy Bottrell is still second, but the timing has been a bit dodgy, so we're not entirely sure of the gap, but we'll keep following the story and bring it to you later. In third place, we have 20-year-old Henk Latergan and co-driver Barry White in the first of the Volkswagen Sassel Racing Polos. They scored a beautiful second-place podium on the Gauteng Rally in May, and are third on 44 points. They are just half a point, yep, half a point ahead of their more illustrious and more experienced European teammates, Dutchman Hans Weiss Jr. and Belgian co-driver Bjorn de Gant in the other Sassel Racing Polo. Fifth place, Matt Cremier and Robin Houghton. We don't usually talk of them, the double champions of course, 
being in fifth place, but they've jumped up from last. They had a disastrous start to the season. In the Tour Natal Rally, they crashed at the first corner of the first stage of the first event. And on the Sassler Rally, round two, they suffered suspension problems on the second day um, and took home just six and a half points under the Super Rally rules. But on the Gauteng Rally, they bounced back. They dominated the event. And if their season is back on track, as it would appear, they cannot be excluded from the championship fight. We have arrived at the start of the stage 14, which is the last gravel stage of the rally. Up front, not a lot has happened. Actually, that's not true. We've lost another couple of cars. We've lost Ashley Haig Smith in Super 1600 um, with drivetrain issues. But up at the top of the field, Janil de Villiers, who was on the podium in the um, Imperial Toyota, we've lost him and we've lost him in the Volkswagen Sassel Racing Polo. They both stopped in stage 13. There's not a hell of a lot of cars left. What there is left, we will film for you. So, at the halfway point of the season, the championship table is getting very, very interesting. Viro Polter and Alvin Kutsir continue to lead the title chase as they have all year. Following their two wins in the first two rounds, they back that up now with a very solid second place overall and have a clear 15 and a half point lead. Interestingly now, Hans Weiss Jr., the Dutchman in the Volkswagen Sasser Racing Camp and his Belgian co-driver Bjorn de Land, have jumped into second place. This follows consistent point scoring that had three podiums, three third places this season and have 62 and a half points. Hergen Fekken and Kalen Swan, who previously tied in the championship table with their teammates Leroy and Alvin, um, had a disastrous Volkswagen rally. They had a misfire effectively on the way to stage one and retired the car for the weekend and have dropped down to third place. Having another dominant win, back-to-back -back wins for Mark Premier and Robin Houghton, they are into fourth place but just half a point behind Hogan Fekken's third place. So it, that fight is certainly going to continue unabated. Those top four people chasing for the championship are going into the Cullinan Rally on the 15th and 16th of August. We've just finished uh, day two of the PE rally. Um, it was a hell of a battle between myself and Chad. Um, Chad was putting out some really good times and uh, we were battling to keep up with him. And in the last stage, uh, we managed to put together a very clean run, very fast. And I think Chad backed off a little bit, uh, but we managed to manage to pip him right at the end. And we've just finished now at the stadium and uh, we did identical times at the stadium. So uh, very happy with today's win. Uh, it was a tough win. It's been uh, the best one for us this year. Um, and we're looking forward to the next event, but uh, all around very good event, uh, car's really good, uh, team is working very well together and uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to uh, the next event now, we've got to prep and uh, make sure the car's reliable for the following uh, events coming up. They were great stages and uh, great to watch, I must say, and, uh, and it was a wonderful rally. Third position, Uli van der Waart and James Aldridge in the Sheroda Ford Fiesta. Chad Van Beard and Nico Strath in the Beard and Construction BW Polo, the R2. That's to see youngsters uh, and the winner. And he has, he's leading the championship. He hasn't been beaten in the three races, now the four races. But a perfect score, he's won most of the stages from the tail. And they're really easy running there. Guy Bottle and Simon Vasey Lau. In the Yaka Tools, the other Etios. In third position, he comes all the way from Holland with uh, Bjorn, it's uh, Hans Vaas and Bjorn de Hans from uh, Belgium. Second spot is Leroy Falter, Alvin Christine Kaskaski, Piyadi Yaris. The winner of this rally, and that's Mark Renew. Robin Houghton, well done, men.